Hey everybody, I'm Beerman the Beerman, and welcome back to This is the Police. Last time, uh, well, we just we got some more clues for the assault, and uh, no storyline really, not a lot happened. Uh, we got some more frames for the rape thing, and but yeah, uh, now here we are at day uh, 175, so we're going to move on. Iconic fashion designer, something, 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 Castel, Castel, Castaldo, Castaldo. Vin, Vin, Vincenzo? Vincenzo? Vincenzo Castaldo? I don't know. In, in Insane Asylum. Okay, fine. He's in the Insane Asylum. Uh, teacher, today's students are hopeless. They sure are. Kooky designer clothing collection found at dump. Neat. What the f- why? Why do they hate us? What is the deal? And why can't I say foreign names when they're written in English? <laughs> Why am I so bad at that? I don't know why. I don't get it. Um, all right. Oh, good. No one's bitching about anything. Fantastic. Look, we can just start the day. No problem. Um, in honor of that, let's play this weird-ass CD. This really weird one. Sneaking Suspicions. I have a sneaking suspicion uh, that I'm about to get stabbed in the back by all my cops. Because they chose to come into work today, and it's, it's just weird. Um, okay. Okay. How we doing on? Yeah. Yeah, I don't want to send any more people over over to Green. I don't want to do that. Um, okay. Tamara Edelstein, gallery director. Okay. Uh, we have the two of them, but we want to we want to get um, we want to make sure we have the best of the best. So uh, let's see. Vickers and Gordon. Right. We're going to send Vickers and Gordon. Alright, Vickers and Gordon, go talk to her. Go get some info. Go, I don't know, just beat her up if you have to. Just get the right info. Don't fuck it up. Do not fuck it up. I'll be upset. I don't want to be upset. Alright? God, where's the crime lately? I, it feels like crime has gone down in the past few days, like since uh, this assault's coming. Maybe they're just too cold. <laughs> Is that a thing? Does crime decrease in real life when it starts to get cold? I have no idea. That'd be kind of interesting. Counterfeiting. We received an anonymous tip. Some criminals have set up a counterfeit printing operation on the top floor of an apartment house. Our source alleges that there are armed guards there around the clock. Could be false alarm, but maybe not. Let's send in Chavez to lead the charge. Let's send in Quando to do all the work. And then let's send in Kingston, Kingston to back him up. And then these guys and the music's getting all weird and maybe we shouldn't send them let's actually send um roth and then they can be backup or another thing because you know they're green and they disagree with them and stuff that should be good right i truly truly have no idea i don't know oh assault here we go okay what do you have to say uh, personally, I think our gallery's building is the jewel of the city, but not everyone shares my feelings. Uh, the other day, we were visited by Mayor Rogers' people. They brought in a huge amount of building materials and hoisted them up to the roof. Now it's impossible to get up there. Oh. I called Rogers personally, but the- wait, what do you mean it's impossible? Oh, okay. Like, to hang out on the roof? Okay. I called Rogers personally, but the mayor said that while the gallery is living off money from the city, I don't have a say in the matter. Okay, the building materials are for the mayor's nephew, a student architect. He wants to build some sort of observation deck right on the roof of the gallery from which you can look into the future of modern art. What an awful sense of taste that man has. What? This gives me nothing. Unless I'm missing something, but I'm, I'm not getting anything from this at all. Yeah, I don't... I don't see what... Uh, we're going back. <laughs> That's not helpful. That was not very helpful. Unless, I don't know, I didn't... None of that seemed to make... None of that was like, hey, you could go here and it would help. A uh, fight. A fight broke out at Mrs. Mirren's weekly book club meeting. Too bad. Alright, I'm kidding. Um, Fonte Knott and Kojak? You guys want to do that? You want to go... Uh, Go handle this, these idiots? Okay, you know what? We're going to send in Little, and then you two. Okay. Shit. 
<laughs> this is exactly what I saved them for. Look, there's two of them, too. God damn it. All right, fine. Woodard and Trevor, get in there and go help them. God, it happens right away. Oh, yeah, I also wanted to uh, do this. Or do I? Yeah, I do. Oops. Um, who's the worst? Oh, you suck. And Billups. Yeah. Okay, we'll get these two on here. We're going to try to get this guy. I assume it's the guy. It might be the friend. I have no idea. I do not know. Not the slightest clue. I mean, I have plenty of clues. It's the guy. <laughs> but that last frame was kind of weird. With the, the friend with the scissors. Uh, two men are wrestling on the floor. One of them is beating the other with a thick... A thick... Dostovsky volume? Shouting... So, this person invented extensionalism long before your stinking sat search 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 chartre. I just can't read foreign names. I'm sorry. Grab a volume of Proust from the shelf and attack. Use pepper spray. Pardon me, but what about Frederick Schelling? Use pepper spray. Get him. We got him. Great. Counterfeiting. It also went great. Fantastic. Noise complaint. An elderly male said he heard a crowd outside his apartment. People stomping around loudly. Along with occasional noises that sounded like goddamn gunshots. Um. That sounds like a false alarm. That sounds like people just having a party. Although, that's a valid reason to call the police. But, I don't know. It just doesn't. With this game, it doesn't seem like a thing that we need to go and do. Who knows? We're about to find out. Here we go. Okay, the people in the neighborhood apartment were just celebrating the bar mitzvah of Abraham Oppenheim. Oppenheim. Great. That'd be cool. I've never been to a bar mitzvah. That'd be kind of fun. I think. A friend of mine's getting married next year. That's pretty cool. I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, reckless driving. A patrol car was chasing a speeding vehicle through the city. The suspect refused to stop, uh, stop despite numerous demands. During the chase, the police car was pushed off the road and was unable to continue pursuit. Therefore, I need to send police. Who's all, who's there already? A patrol car? Who is it? Who the hell is it? Um, alright. Fine. Uh, Chavez, you're in charge. Quando, if he gets out of the car, you can beat him up. Kingston and... Smith. Smith. There we go. Go do it. Should be great. Oh, I'm just, I, I, I apologize. I'm, I'm very, very burpy right now. <laughs> I don't know why. What the fuck? Did I, I ate chicken. All I did was eat some chicken. I, I eat chicken all the time. So burpy. Whatever. You guys can enjoy all of my burps. Okay, that went great. Assault. Still no new frames on that. Rape. No new frames? Oh, no. That's not good. Why? Why no new frames? What the hell? Um. Ugh. It's gotta just be. Ugh, fucking, I don't. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Yellow cup. He shows up. She has the drink. Um. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Yeah, this is definitely her friend pouring in the drink. Okay. Is that... That... What is that even? Wait a minute. I thought that was wine, but the bottle is pretty small. That might not be wine. I don't fucking know. Um, alright. Uh, that. Um. You know what? Let's go a different route with this. Let us. Let's. Let's go with the route that maybe her friend did it. Okay, let's see. Let's try that. So. Her friend came in. Uh, uh. 
and cut the clothes because maybe she's trying to frame him. Cut the clothes. Uh, no, wait. Um, I'm trying to work this out in my tiny little brain. The friend came in. I don't know. Maybe there's something else. Oh, no. Oh, this. She probably came in while they were, like, making out. And so he left. And then... To, whoa! <laughs> oh, my God. What is that? Emily Carr, friend of the victim. Uh, the suspect is Emily Carr. Emily has been in love with John Zimmerman for a long time, but he always ignores her and favors her friend Hannah Nelson, and she just couldn't take it, so Emily decided to take revenge on both of them. Uh, what is this even? Was that the drug? Oh, is it blood? Is that blood? That might be blood. What the fuck did she do? Are you serious? She did it? Oh my god. Oh my good lord. I can't believe I even figured that out somehow. I just put things in there. Okay, great. Well, everybody leveled up. Oh my good lord. This is ridiculous. Okay. We gotta try to get her um, on the first try. Can we do it? Probably not. Emily Carr diligently attends her classes. Okay. Uh, but it's like... It's 12.30 in the morning. Emily Carr lives with her parents. Yeah, let's try that. We're going to send in SWAT and Little and uh, McCoy. All right. Come on. Go get her. Please be there. I'm going to call so much bullshit if she is here and not there. So much bullshit. But I guess we'll find out. Maybe. Hopefully within our lifetimes. Come on. Drive the car. Go. Go faster. Get over there. Hurry up. Come on. Get this crazy bitch. What kind of friend does that? Are you fucking kidding me? She's not at school at 3 in the morning. Come on. Now we have to wait two days for the detective to come back so we can go get her. God, that's such bullshit. Ugh. I don't even know if we can wait two days. I don't know if, like, something's going to happen. I'm worried. Okay, here we go. End the day. And, uh, let's move on to day 176. Stripper. Undressing beautifully. Not art. Just business. Okay. Electricity costs to rise 22%. That sucks. Foreign investors to build modern waste plants in Freeburg. Fine. I don't care. Uh... Our cops don't like us for no reason at all, which is fine. Maybe I didn't send them on enough uh, barbecues back in the day. Maybe that's it. They're, just, they're more upset about the past. Today is a great day. It's the day of my... Fine. Uh, some of... Fine. God. Oh, look. Who are we going to promote? Should we promote a detective? Nah. Who's it going to be? Who deserves a promotion? Um, oh look, Gillette has changed size today. I kind of feel like we should give it to Jaxie. Jaxie's been with us a long time. I mean, we can give it to Kochi. She's quite deserving to to get another bar. Um, but it seems more beneficial to me to have more people with one bar than have less people with multiple bars, you know? I could be mistaken, but um, we're going to... We're going to give it to Jaxie. That's what we're going to do. All right, Jaxie, you big son of a bitch. Wait, can't we give it to someone on the other? No, we can't, unless we wait for tomorrow, maybe. We're giving it to Jaxie. There you go, you bastard. Enjoy. Enjoy your stripes. We'll probably fire you pretty soon anyways because you're old, but whatever. It's fine. No problem. In honor of Jaxie uh, leveling up, we're not going to do no good. We're going to do Billabong. <laughs> it's the only good one. Billabong. Here we go. Billabong. All right. Uh, okay. We paid our snitch. 500 big ones. Uh, okay. We got our money. City Hall. Okay. We're going to do all of these. And uh, let's see. What else? Freeburg High School Psychologist. How the hell are you going to help? 
Whatever. All of you. Go talk to her. What's this? Shooting at St. John's Hospital. The hospital just admitted a young woman named Judith Webb who has a history of drug problems. The doctors treated her for an overdose, but when she came to, she broke a glass bottle filled with saline, uh, grabbed a shard of it like a knife, and sliced the nurse's face. Oh my god. A guard ran in, slipped in the middle, slipped in the puddle of saline, and knocked himself unconscious. <laughs> Miss Webb then took his gun and began to shoot at the page, patients and medical staff, demanding she be released immediately. Okay, great. That's just all kinds of messed up. We're going to send in Jaxi so we can test out his brand new promotion. We're going to send in Prado to help out. We're going to send in um, the 10-year-old, and we're going to send in Bonds um, to learn things. There we go. Now we have to wait for tomorrow to get her on here. This guy is so annoying. <laughs> so irritating. But fine. Whatever. What frickin' ever. No problem. I guess. Uh, okay, so what else? What else is gonna happen? Drug manufacturing. Stephanie Aguilar? I don't know. Was gonna uh, visit a friend but opened the wrong door and walked into the adjoining apartment where she found a serious drug lab. They were all unconscious, according to the elderly woman, apparently smoking angel dust or glue. Somehow I think they didn't even notice me. Alright, fine. Bastion, this might even be a false alarm, but it doesn't quite sound like it. Um, yeah, we'll send Gillette, why not? And Mega Doofus. Also, before I forget, I do want to... Oops. I want to put uh, Gillette over on Shift A. And, uh, yeah, that'll be alright. There we go. Great. And uh, I keep... <laughs> I, just, I want to do this so bad. I want, it, I want it so bad. Okay, shooting. That went, that went well? Okay. Whoa! <laughs> What's going on here? Uh, Mr. Boy, we're featuring the police in our next issue of Sexy Uniform. We already have some old photo shoots of models in police clothes, but we want to mix them up with some of the real cops on your staff. If the Freeburg police appeared in our magazine, it could only improve their image in the eyes of our readers. Really. Again, it might it might help, it might not. I'd rather just not take the chance. Explosion. A minivan exploded over by the park. We're getting a lot of conflicting information, but a passing teenager swore to God that it seemed like someone was probably firing shots inside the car. Okay. Weird. I don't know what to make of that. We're going to send in... Um, everyone but Powers. In case we need backup on this thing. And Powers will hopefully be enough. Enough backup for that. This? No, nothing there. I really want to do this rape thing. <laughs> I want to get that bitch so bad for... Oh! A staggering man suddenly bursts through the door. He takes no notice of the police, pulls down his pants, and begins to take a shit right there in the hallway. Oh, good for him. Quietly grabbed the suspect and handcuffed him. <laughs> he doesn't even notice. That'd be hilarious. Step back and hide in the stairwell. Cling to the wall and shut your eyes. Now, yeah, we're gonna do this one. That's, that's just funny. Uh, two unkept girls run out of the apartment shouting, Adolf, we did it! We scored some meth! Well then, put your face to the floor and keep still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, act like an interested buyer and ask to try out the goods. Force the suspects to the ground. Yeah, I like the first one. Ah, oh, shit. Inside, there's a skinny bearded man with messy hair wearing a rubber apron. Is it is it Rick from Rick and Morty? That's what I'm picturing right now. Uh, he's dancing beside a table covered in chemist flasks while two other semi-conscious addicts quietly applaud him. Hmm. Quietly applaud him. <laughs> That's great. Calmly approach the suspects and put them in handcuffs. Draw on everything you learned at the academy and stealthily uh, somersault behind the criminals. Knock the knock the dancer out with a taser. I really want to do this one just because I think it's funny that they don't even notice I'm handcuffing them. But this one has the word taser in it, so we're going to do it. 11, 11. There we go. 11-11. 11. <laughs> we did it. Explosion. Nobody in or near the car fired any shots. The fire and subsequent explosion were caused by a problem with the engine. All right, that's fine. What's this now? Mr. Boyd, I'm the manager of a big star, Manuel... Man, Manuel Torreblanca? Okay. 
A big star with a big problem. One that I hope you can help with. Manuel woke up today in his hotel room and found a dead groupie in the bathroom. She'd come home with him from the club last night. It looks like she overdosed. But I don't want my client's name all over the newspapers. Not when they're likely to call him an addict, rapist, or murderer. To keep this quiet, I need two reliable men who can discreetly get rid of the body. Money is no issue. Manuel just signed a contract for a new series. The answer is no. We're not doing that because I need to keep my cops happy, and I don't think they'll be very happy about that. Homicide at City Hall. Ooh, good. <laughs> An unidentified woman came into the office of City Hall. Came into the office of City Hall employee James Mon Montage. Montag. Mon Montaga. I don't know. Uh. She pulled a gun from her purse and demanded a large sum of money. According to preliminary reports, Mr. Montagula refused to pay, so the woman started beating him and then shot him a dozen times. Holy crap. A dozen times, huh? All right. Um, should we send everybody? Nah. We'll keep the 10-year-old just in case. Just in case. Well, now we don't really need them because they're, they're back, but fine. Whatever. Hopefully, uh, four will be enough. They got Prado with them. Oh, I keep... Jeez, I got him so dumb. <laughs> okay, psychiatrist. I don't know where the children come up with their with their ideas of fun, but at night, they climb onto the roof of City Hall, bringing picnics... Bring picnics and make out with each other right in front of our blessed cathedral. Why would they do that at City Hall? It's such a weird place to do that. Uh, last month, one of the students walked over a rotten section of the roof... And fell inside. Luckily, that part of the city hall has been under renovation for the past six months. And it was filled with soft materials, which broke his fall. But this is definitely something you need to look into. That's right. Someone else mentioned repairing the roof and not doing a very good job. And they mentioned it being, if I remember correctly, being over uh, the mayor's office. Huh. This might this might be our last clue that we need. We might put two assaulters here. We'll leave it here for now. We'll leave it like this for now and see what else, see if we get anything else. Huh. Yeah, that's the second mission about that roof um, having issues. And it's right above his office. So uh, we might try that out. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I wanted to... Wait, is this Arrested Suspects? Yeah, we're working on it. Um, okay, I want to get people on this. There we go. Yeah. Because we got to figure that out, too. I don't know if we, if, uh, we ever will, actually. Um, but I would like to. I sure would like to. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Driving under the influence. A waiter at a restaurant saw a rusty pickup truck drive into a pillar on the side of the street. Now the driver is just sitting in the car singing songs in an awful voice. <laughs> I think he's drunk as a skunk. Fine. Uh, uh, Prado and Pons. Go do it. Man, I'm a little bit tired right now. I had a pretty long day at work. Um... I've been doing this recording session for a while. I'm surprisingly tired. <laughs> I'm having trouble like coming up with things to talk about. But that's fine. Whatever. We're still enjoying the game. Driving under the influence. Good. They did it. Oh, look. We got some alcohol. Will this make them happy if we bring back some alcohol? Can we drink the alcohol? Have a good time? Celebration time. Come on. Uh, Mrs. Majid? called in a complaint about a man with a shaved head who regularly extorts God, extorts money from her. He comes in the evening, pounds on the door, and demands money. Money, money, money. Like it's the only English word he knows. Uh, this sounds like... Called in a complaint, it sounds like he just wants rent. He probably uh, owns the apartments, and he wants his rent. That's what it sounds like. So we're not going to send anybody in on that, because I think that's what it is. I think it's a, the owner of the apartment, and he just wants to rent. If I'm wrong, then uh, I guess we'll find out right about now. The punk's your brother. Yeah, there we go. The extortionist turned out to be the landlord. Yeah. Mr. Sitchin. 
who was simply demanding that Mrs. Majid pay the rent. It seems her husband is several months behind. All right, fine. Money, money, money. Oh, look, we got new frames. Oh, great. Okay. So, yes. So they were walking. He came up behind them with the, with the knuckles. He hit him with the knuckles. He cut her with the knuckle knife. He then ran to his car, which is a truck. Yeah, <laughs> we did it. Oh my god, I didn't think we were ever going to do that one. But look at that. We got it. Can we... Oh, we have to wait for tomorrow. Okay. Well, tomorrow should be an interesting day. We're going to try to arrest two people. That should be fun. Great. Okay. Should we, uh... Should we do that in, in this episode? How many days have gone by? <laughs> I keep forgetting to keep track. <laughs> oh my god. Um, okay, well, in any case, we're going to end the day and uh, see if we have any cutscenes. Day 177. No cutscenes. You know what? Let's go ahead and do one more day. Um, that, you know, we went through those couple of days, or one day? <laughs> I don't quite remember, but let's do one more day anyways. Um, let's, let's, let's catch those, those perps. On those investigations, that should be good. Okay, so Gallery of Modern Art, host suicidal artist Sigmund ha uh, Hammerling. Okay. Weird. Uh, doctor, equipment in city hospitals outdated. Doesn't surprise me. Uh, Rogers Mayor. Not Mayor Rogers, but Rogers Mayor. I congratulate our graduates. Yeah, I bet you do, you son of a bitch. I bet you want to rape them all too, you jerk. I bet, I bet, I bet. Room. I don't know why I'm... Whatever. I think I forgot to feed my fish back at the house. Can I have the day off? Sure. Why not? Um, start the day. Uh, oh. Let's, um... God, I don't... Let's get this weird one again. No, let's do this one. Let's do this. Come on. It's so hard to get the one you want. Okay, spiders and flies. This one's not too bad. Let's do some spiders and flies. Uh, in honor of us doing a third... I believe a third day uh, in this episode. Whoa, there's so many things. Oh, look, just in time, we got some extra stuff too. Uh, job slot, detective. Let's see. How many, oh, I guess, no. I don't know, shit, I gotta look, hold on. I gotta look at this really quick. Oh my God, there's a thing that's about to happen. Uh, driving under the influence. A man is driving a buggy along the beach, knocking people over. Eyewitnesses say he's laughing like a lunatic. Okay, um, let's, uh, knocking people over, <laughs> it's so weird, alright, uh, Chavez, you're in charge, Quando, uh, Kingston, Kojak, and, uh, that should be plenty, I mean, even this should be enough, that should be enough, um, but I wanted to do this, because we're going to get a new person too, right? So I want to go ahead and shuffle all of you over to Shift B. Let's get you all on the green team. There we go. Fucking green team. Anyone need to go over the red team? No? Okay, great. We're doing good. I guess. I don't know. Okay. Officer. Oh yeah, I forgot to hire the detective. Okay, so we need... How are we doing on... Let's see. It's gonna. We're going to need more people on the red team. One, two, three, four, five, six... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, we have plenty of detectives on the red team. Oh, I'm sorry, seven. Okay, so let's get let's get one. Uh, let's get a detective on the green team. Oh, I thought he had a bloody nose for a second. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, green team. Oh, he looks like an asshole. Let's get him. Uh, should be right. That's what I said. Yeah, yeah. Apologies. Okay, should be now. How are we doing here? So we're gonna need we need more uh, on the red team for sure. More cops on the red team. Oh look, perfect. Roberta Timpson. Yeah, she's perfect. What the fuck is happening here? <laughs> it's so weird. Uh, okay, you're hired. Shift day. Welcome aboard. And look, we got a raise again. And Clementine came through with a bit of money. Okay, well. We're doing the extra day so we can get this crazy bitch, so let's go ahead and get this crazy bitch. Here we go. Little and Dixon. Right? Yeah. That'll be good. Little and Dixon. 
Go get her. Uh, un unlawful assembly. Some parents have gathered outside City Hall. Their children have all been diagnosed with something. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't do that. A rare genetic disease that affects the nervous system, internal organs, and the uh, musculoskeletal system. Freeburg stopped purchasing the drugs required to treat these children because the medicine failed to pass annual certification. The parents are furious. Mrs. Poultry, leader of the rally, shouted into the bullhorn, This disease is killing our children and they can all, uh, and all they can do is play politics. Yeah. So, fuck them, I guess. Hold on, let's keep... Ugh, I hate to say it, but let's, let's hold on to Woodard. For backup. Um, oh yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Um, hold on. Hold on. Is this still... Yeah, okay. So, we're gonna get all of you... Should we, uh... That should be okay. I'm a little bit worried about the political views, but... I'm sure it'll be okay. Um... Yeah, and then once once Kingston gets back, we're going to try to get this other person. Okay, harassment. Mrs. Abbott called us saying that grown men are harassing schoolgirls at the swimming pool in broad daylight. Some pumped up guys in swim trunks were touching the adolescent girls and lying next to them by the pool. Come arrest these perverts immediately. Oh, fucking Jesus Christ. Harassing schoolgirls. Oh, God, it upsets me to my core. Um, we're definitely go gonna go get that guy. Okay, the buggy is rushing straight to a patrol car. Shut off your engine immediately. Shoot out the tires, ram the idiot. <laughs> I kind of like that one. Um, let's ram him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, we did it. Hey, we got some cocaine too. <laughs> Neat. Alright, that went great. Okay. Okay, good, we got her. Fantastic, you were able to arrest all suspects. Alright, team. Good job. Unlawful assembly. Well, this also went well. Nice. Good, okay. Now if everyone just would hurry the hell up and get back here so we can handle the... What the fuck is this? Mission from the labor union. Mr. Boyd, we have just received some disturbing information. Port management hired a gang of thugs to teach our top union officials a lesson, hoping we'd back down in the negotiations on the new port worker contract. Our sources have informed us they're planning to catch us one by one, and, so to speak, persuade us to change our position. We need protection for the remainder of the negotiations. Could you please send us a few of your trusted men? Oh, boy. Um. No. I don't think I need to do that. Come on! Yeah! Just in time. All right. Okay. Let's wait. Let me... Grown men are harassing schoolgirls at the swimming pool. Touching the adolescent girls lying next to them by the pool. Oh, wait a minute. This could be a false alarm. Some pumped up guys in swim trunks were touching the adolescent girl. Touching them in what way? Like, giving them high fives? Like, this could be a false alarm, but let's not take any chances. We're going to send them in. And uh, now, we're going to try to get this guy. So, after Bob Farber's wife left, he always works double shifts and never takes breaks. Okay. How about this one? Bob Farber hurries to the beach every day after work, hoping to track down the man who stole his wife. Uh, let's try this one. Let's try this one here. Kingston and uh, Trevor and SWAT. Go do it. Go get him. For the love of Christ, get him. Oh, this. Okay. Another clue. God, we have so many clues. Senior groundskeeper. Recently, it seems like City Hall has been preparing for an invasion. Oh! This could be some useful information. All the flowers were getting trampled, so Mayor Rogers told me to move the main garden over by the back door. I was working there when I heard an important guy, a retired general or something, saying that a competent commander covered by a couple fighters could get through the back door and penetrate into any part of the building. So there's no point at all in the whole central security system. That's exactly what I have. I have a commander with two dudes. Great. Uh, then he calmed down and said, nobody knows about the back door except people who are supposed to know, and they all went for a drink. Oh, great. I think we might have the right thing going on, especially here. This is like the third, the third clue to confirm this, I think, so. 
we might be in a good place. We might be, be looking good. I'm a little worried that we're not really spread out. But I'm, I'm just trying to go on the clues here. So, um, I don't know. I don't know. It's tricky, but uh, I think we're doing okay. All right. Mass Riot. Thomas Baxter, baker at Crispy Tommy, uh, claims that his rival Jerome Roll of the Livelihood Bakery has been spreading false rumors that Baxter spits in the pastries and mixes, mixes in hazardous chemicals. Many of his regular customers have apparently bought into the rumors and have gathered outside the store ready to deal with the unfortunate baker. There are dozens of angry people. I managed to lock the door, but it won't keep them out for long, shouted Mr. Baxter over the phone. Okay, so what's this other one? Uh, a shooting. All right, well, let's, uh, let's take care of this first. Paddy Wagon. Oh, wait a minute. How many people do we have? Oh, no. And no one's coming back anytime soon. All right, Paddy Wagon, Quando, Chavez, and Kojak. Oh, I'm, I'm genuinely worried. And Smith. Oh, God. No, we need... Oh, God. Okay, we're going to try this. I'm so worried. Uh, and then shooting. Uh, Julko Grober reports that he overheard his hysterical neighbors fighting and swears he must have heard four separate voices. A short time later, shots were fired, and then everyone went quiet. Or everything went quiet. Mr. Gobbler has previously noticed suspicious people in the residence and even saw them with weapons, but until now he was afraid to do anything. I don't know what I'd say face to face with those tattooed thugs, admitted Mr. Gobbler, though streaming tears, uh, through streaming tears. Uh, there's no way I could face them. Okay, fine. All right, we're going to send you three, and hopefully that'll be okay. And hopefully, okay, they might get back in time for, uh, uh okay, yeah, the men were perverts but licensed lifeguards. Oh, that makes sense. Uh, they were giving the schoolgirls a first aid lesson. Okay. I see. That's cool. Um, God, what what is the deal with this? Every time. <laughs> it's never the first place you go, ever. No matter what you choose, it's never the first place. Okay, terror threat. Or I just have bad luck. I don't know. Hey, this is a whole new thing. Oh, my God. We don't have enough people. Hold on. On the eve of the premiere of The Longest Finger... <laughs> Oh, my God. Okay, an anonymous caller threatened that he was going to blow up the hall with all the moviegoers inside. The theater director said that the perpetrator uh, had a voice like a child, and he's confident that it's a simple prank, but was nevertheless obliged to inform the police about the threat. Okay, well, it might be a false alarm, uh, but it might not be. And, uh, what's this now? Wait, that's the one, this one. Animal abuse. A man climbed into a lake at the zoo trying to catch a swan, according to the to a very worried zoo visitor. Uh, that man is crazy. He said he'd kill the bird if it didn't come. Great. <laughs> uh, do we need backup for these other ones? Yes, we do. But, the, but this one was okay. So we're going to send Little for backup. I think she'll be enough. And then we're going to send these two to this thing. Because this might be a false alarm. Um, and I don't—I just don't think I have enough people to handle this anyways. Yeah. So hopefully it's a false alarm, but it might not be. Oh, and we can do this again. So let's do this again. Here we go. Vehicular accident. A pedestrian was crossing the road illegally and was hit by a car. According to Wait, that's what you get. That's what you get for crossing. Oh my god, you guys. Uh, last night, I was driving down the street, and these two kids, like teenage, like young teenagers probably, probably like 12, 13, on their bikes, not on a crosswalk or anything, just fucking crossed the street right in front of me. I slammed on the brakes and like skid and almost hit them. It's ridiculous. Uh, I was so mad. <laughs> Anyways, according to witnesses, the driver didn't try to get away, but instead got out of the car, grabbed the pedestrian who was lying on the road, and began to beat him in the face, shouting, Watch where you're going, you fucking bitch. Yeah. Okay. Um, well, we missed this one. Hold on. This went okay. Animal abuse. This went okay. Terror threat. Oh, good. The threat was left by a fourth grade student who didn't have time to buy a ticket to the premiere. Oh, my God. Okay. Fine. Um, let's handle this one. Should we just send everybody? 
I don't know if we need everybody. I think these three can do it. We'll keep Gillette just in case of something. I don't know. Shooting. Offender caught. Officers unharmed. Civilians unharmed. All right. Good. I'm glad that went well. I was a little bit worried about that one, but it's no problem. No problemo at all. Look, we're going to get this guy. Oh, wait. There's this this thing, too. Okay. Three. That's not quite enough, though. Assault. And we got him. All right. Look, all these people are going to level up. That's great. That's so good. Man, we're not going to reach the 500,000, but oh, well. What's his name? He's just going to have to figure it out. Jack. Um, with any luck, Rosebeer will stay true to his word and let him keep his job, which sounds like all Jack really wants right now. He doesn't really seem to care about the money anymore. Paddy Wagon. Um, I didn't even read it yet. <laughs> during, during the premiere of a new movie about secret agent Jasmine Roach, a man burst into the theater and started loudly uh, protesting the violence in the film. At first, he was just verbally... Uh, abusing the people who were trying to enjoy the show, but it quickly turned into a full-on fight. We already have reports of one victim. Okay. Well, it's getting late. We probably won't have any more things. Um, here, we're going to send in... You. All of you. And we'll keep you two for backup. Probably be okay, but whatever. Any investigations? Nope. We're clean on that. How's the assault doing? No new clues. I think we're okay on that. I think we're sitting pretty right now. I could be wrong, but everything looks okay. We just gotta wait on this. Hopefully, watch everybody die. <laughs> watch all five of these people die. Oh my god. It would, that would just be my luck, huh? Wouldn't that be great? Come on. Oh my god, we did need backup. But that's fine. We have Kingston and Trevor and, of course, Quando to handle that. So it's no problem. Um, let's see. Okay, yeah, I did switch them over to the next shift. Good. Oh, man. Look, everything is looking great. We're so close to the last day. I think it's the last day. We're, we're, day, we're close to day 180 anyways, which I assume is when the assault's going to happen. Because um, the goal is to make 500 grand in 180 days, and we're three days away. <laughs> I just and Now this assault's coming up, I just assume it'll match up. Um, there we go. Okay, great. So we're going to end the day, we're going to see if there's a cutscene, and then we'll end the episode. Day 178? Cutscene? Nope, nothing. Alright, well, there you go. Uh, we're going to end the episode here, and next time we'll come back to day 178. So uh, thank you very much for watching, hope you had some fun. If you did, please leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Bye!